Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and in this TypeScript video tutorial, we will learn about literal type. So, literal type is an interesting as well as important topic for interviews also. And this is little bit similar to the union type also. So that's why I will tell you the difference between union type and literal type also. So let's jump on the first question. What is literal type? So see, uh, if you are just looking on a definition that this is the simplest definition, apply value rather than the apply type to a variable or a parameter. That simply means uh, in a union or in a simple way, what we actually do with any variable or with the parameter, we apply the type like string type, number type, and we assign the values. But in the literal type, we assign, we apply directly values as a type. Here you can see that this is the example of syntax. We have a let with the name of data and we apply the type ABC or 1, 2, 3, 2, 8 right and this is the literal type keep in mind whenever we will apply the string or number type to the data then we call it union but when we apply directly values as a type like abc or 123 then we call it literal type and in union type or as a normal types we can assign any number or any string values like hello how are you 123 xyz anything right but in literal type, we can only pick one of the two values. Like we can only assign the one ABC or one, two, three to this data. Let's take a deep look. First of all, what I'm just going to do, I'm going to make a file, the name of literal.ps. So now let's say I have a data. And first of all, I am putting here some simple values like uh, 10 to it right or might be uh, we want to assign here hello right you can assign any value of two of them so what we can do here simply we can just tell here string uh, obviously after the comma string or number and now we can assign any string value or number value so this is a type of union right so let's say what I'm just going to do, I'm making a, another variable, let's say well. And now I want to assign only specific value to it. Let's say I want to assign 1, 2, 3 or A, B, C to it. So I can make it more restrictable and I can just tell that type A, B, C or 1, 2, 3 like this you can add some spaces if you want and now i can assign only one two three value or abc value right if i am going to assign here like hello or something then we definitely get the error that uh, hello is not assignable to type one two three or abc so this is the literal here right that we call it literal so let's uh, take a broad look on that case right so in last uh, video i told you about the union type so in union type here you can see that we have a function with the name of combine and uh, we assign the two numeric values here first then we just make a addition of both of them and combine them but so let's say we can uh, just send here the string values also so what we do do here we apply here union like it can be a number or it can be a string with the a parameter as well as in the b parameter right and here we check the types of after that we just uh, return here a plus b or we just return the combination of string but there can be chances that we have five or six or maybe more than 10 parameters that time this is a not a good way to check the types right that time what we can do we can just simply pass a third parameter and check the types right so i and it will be easily handled with the literal type how i will tell you so first of all i am going to make a copy of uh, that file and paste in a literal file like here right and now let's uh, directly put here 
literal dot js file and we have to generate here js file with the compiler so tsc mm, i think i just made a spelling mistake here sorry for that i don't need to add here uh, just give me a moment i don't need here n yep and tsc dot ts and after that we will find a literal dot js file also and we can check the output this is working fine uh, again okay i just need to save it and run it again i think all right so according to the uh, union type this is the perfectly output but let's say we have some more parameter and i don't want to use here union then what i can do in that case we can pass here third parameter so first of all let's simply use here only number case so i am passing here third parameter as number right and let's take a third parameter here with type right and i don't need to just put here all these things i can just simply check here type equal to as number right and uh, as you know uh, because we are not checking types here then we can just simply put here plus sign with the a and with the b also so that we can convert them if they are a string then we can convert them in a numeric values right so here what we can put here we can just simply check here uh, it can be a string right and if i am checking it here as a number like uh, triple equal to then this is still fine but might be you just misspell here something like uh, you can just simply put here as num or as hyphen num or something right so what we can do here we can just simply put here uh, as number or it can be as as string right now from the second case we can also send here the th third parameter which is as string like this and it will work fine so let's try to run it again is it working fine and same yes this is again working fine and same so this is the alternative sometimes this is the alternative of union type and it will make more specific values and more specific type if you still have any query related to the literal type you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video